Effective weight loss techniques. Obesity is the widespread accretion of excessive fat in the body. Overweight refers to being 10% above the expected body weight, given the height and build. Obese refers to being 20% over the desired target. The medical definition of being overweight is having a body mass index or BMI between 25 and 29.9. If the BMI is between 18.5 and 24.9, you are within the normal or ideal weight range. But if your BMI is higher than 29.9 you are considered to be obese. To calculate your BMI, simply multiply your weight in pounds by 704.5, divide the result by your height in inches, then again divide that result by your height in inches a second time. Obesity is known to be a precursor to various forms of the disease, particularly cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Usually, interventions such as effective weight loss and medication are prescribed to diminish the risk of developing the disease. Effective weight loss is the process of intentionally making and accomplishing a plan to reduce total body weight. This typically involves the lessening of total body fat. Ideally, you should go on a strict diet, by consuming nutritionally balanced low-calorie foods and increasing physical activity. Over 65% of American adults are overweight or obese today. That means close to 100 million adults in the United States are ineffective at managing their weight. Obesity is also the cause of death of more than 375,000 US adults each year. People who are obese or overweight are more likely to develop heart disease, strokes, hypertension, diabetes, and certain cancers, which are the leading causes of death. Effective weight loss is a premeditated, calculated attempt to lose body weight. Even though there are several effective weight loss programs, the only proven, long-standing and harmless technique is to burn more calories than are ingested. Effective weight loss can be achieved either by decreasing the caloric intake by eating less or healthier food, and by increasing the energy outflow by doing more physical exercises like aerobics, brisk walking, swimming and bicycling. One pound of fat contains around 3,500 calories, so to lose one pound a week a person should consume approximately 3,500 lesser calories per week. This can be easily achieved by reducing the daily intake by 500 calories per day, thereby providing a deficit of 3,500 calories in a week. Thus, by regularly following this effective weight loss method, you can lose one pound a week. Beauty lies in simplicity. The key to weight management and effective weight loss is to simply increase your daily activity. Small things like taking the stairs or brisk walking rather than driving, make a real difference in effective weight loss. A slow but effective weight loss of 1 or 2 pounds a week, will eventually attain the preferred body weight. Effective weight loss and you. By now you've probably heard everything that you possibly can about effective weight loss. Diets that let you eat whatever sweet you want. Diets that allow you to eat as much meat as you want as long as you stay away from those dreaded gasp, vegetables. Diets that let you eat anything and everything you desire, as long as you say a personal mantra at least three times a day. The truth is, having a healthy looking body is a work. Especially if you're over 20 years of age. Yet, even if you're under this age and have suffered from being overweight, then quite simply, you're doing something wrong. This is not to say that you are a bad person, not by a long shot. It's only that everyone's body is different, and to achieve effective weight loss may mean doing something different than basically everyone else. First, neither sweets nor meat is the solution. The people that created that diet, we won't say any names, are now getting sued not only by a growing number of individuals who've had heart attacks but by the federal government, who is trying to watch out for us. Sure, a little meat might be good, but everything must be in moderation. This last idea can't be stressed too greatly, so let's say it again, everything in moderation. Even water, which is the greatest substance in the world for your body, can be overdone. Yes, you actually can drink too much water. It's called drowning. No, but seriously, try to drink four glasses of water. By your third glass, your body is already telling you to slow down. Your body knows what it wants and more importantly, what it needs. 
Incidentally, dietitians recommend a goodly amount of water as a part of effective weight loss, so drink up but in moderation. That's another good point, too. Listen to your body. This is not just some new age slogan to trick people out of their money, it truly works. In fact, while you might not feel it at first after you've lost a little weight and are more aware of what should or should not go inside of you. You'll feel it too, when someone offers you a little chocolate and a little voice tells you to refrain, it's not just guilt. It's one of the first signs of effective weight loss, the mental aspect. The reality is that we all know what it is that we have to do to achieve effective weight loss. Yet we allow ourselves to be weak and then, to make things worse, we insult ourselves. Neither of these habits is healthy. No matter how heavy you are, learn to love yourself, and compliment yourself on a daily basis. As you gain composure and self-respect, you'll lose weight. It's a lovely balancing act of effective weight loss. Even better, once the pounds begin to drop off, they go faster and faster, as your health and energy come back to you. Momentum is gained, as though you were standing atop a hill of health. And truly, with healthy, effective weight loss, you are. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.